as a community center for Melrose, and it was donated to Melrose about 15 years ago. And in order to help maintain the building and make it a nice thing for the community, it's used for functions as well as some offices. And early on, it was decided that there would be a monthly art show at the BB Estate. And so each month there's a different artist or group of artists, and they put on an art display, and that puts the artwork on the walls, which is both a very nice show for the artists and the community, and also when the building is rented out uh, for functions and so forth, people get to see these decorations on the wall. Every year I head up to Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill New Hampshire. Uh, they have a Lupin's Festival. It uh, comes around June when the lupin flower comes into bloom. In uh, this particular photo, I woke up for a sunrise at about you know four o'clock in the morning, and um, this just wildflowers just fields all over uh, Sugar Hill, and um, I happened to come upon this patch which overlooked the White Mountains, and um, it, it worked out perfectly because the light was perfect. Uh, there was some fog. And, uh, you know, it was just one of those moments where everything just came together. Uh, sometimes you can't control Mother Nature, so you're a little bit at the mercy, and I just happened to get a perfect sunrise, and, you know, it just worked out the way I was hoping it to. Um, well, all of these um, white series is um, a series on um, responses to small acts of kindness, and um, the reason it's white on white is because Usually, like with small acts of kindness, you don't really see the response. So that's why I wanted it kind of like white on white, so you see it, but you don't really see how much of an impact it has on you. Acrylic, and um, I don't know if any other people are doing it right now, like white on white. I, it's more of a minimalist um, genre, I, I guess, suppose, um, as well as illustrative, because it's illustrative um, drawing. It's not really realistic. Um, it's kind of realistic, but not really. Um, and um, the background is palette knife, and then the, the people are illustrated um, with paint. Very fine paintbrush. <laughs> There's a first Friday opening, so the artists are obliged to put on their own party, which like tonight, and invite their own guests. It's very much of a self-service gallery. So my job as director is pretty much to find the artists, and then I give them the key and explain to them how it works, and they put on their own reception on Friday, first of the month. Uh, 7 to 9, and then they also keep the gallery open on Saturdays from 11 to 3. A nice example of a nice show tonight with two young artists. So quite pleased with how it went tonight.